Hi ho my fuzzies, welcome to my channel and welcome to my kind of new background just for this one video and welcome to my glasses. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's been so long that I was making a video and I feel like today my English is not really working but I'm trying to make the best of it. And well, yes, what I want to say is that the last video has been an eternity and that's just because I'm a student and I don't have time and I get my, my um, not my master's degree but do you call it bachelor in the US too? I don't know. My my degree after three years of university. And therefore I got I don't I don't have much time, but let's come to the topic that's that's more important. Which fur YouTubers do I watch? And especially why? Well, I made a list of about seven fur tubers I watch. And I'm gonna tell you why. And next week, I hope I'm also gonna make it in, in English. Uh, next week I'm going to make a video about this topic at all but in a certain way so I don't want to kind of spoiler too much and to tell you what is gonna be in next week's video but I'm looking forward to making this video for you guys because it's a little criti critique kinda kinda cr critique so okay seven fur tubers I'm currently watching on the first so the first furry youtuber uh, I'll give my shorts and I'm editing this video. The first fur tube I'm watching is Two Furry Bros. But why do I watch Two Furry Bros? Because their animations are super cute, they're super creative, and they like, they try to make different, or they try to portray different topics. For example, the skate video they did, or some other videos like Furry, furry Christmas, I think, was, was a point. <laughs> And I like their animation style, I also like the voice of Foofy. He, also, he always appears pretty cute and, and I don't know, I just love when he talks and I think a lot of you might, might feel the same. <laughs> uh, by the way, also you can uh, write down in the comments which fur YouTubers you watch and why. Um, this would be really awesome, I love to chat with you guys, <laughs> you know that. Um, another furry YouTuber I'm gonna, not gonna watch, but I'm currently watching is Quartz Husky. I think the problem with Quartz Husky is that he's not uploading many videos anymore. I think the last video was about four or five months ago, so quite some time. And that's a pity because his channel is so good. Really, it's so good. Because he talks about specific topics, not just in the furry fandom, but which are important in general. And he has some assistance with graphics he creates and I as a business economic I love how he's creating these graphics because they're so uh, I don't know creative and I'm hoping that he's uploading more videos but I fear that he either he up doesn't upload any videos anymore or he just uploads a few in a year so like four or five in a year and I hope that's not true but that's what I fear because I don't know when you watch these videos you feel like you learn something that's important for me well another furry youtuber I am watching is of course Majira Strawberry but um, Majira Strawberry is existing for quite some time um, I first watched this channel when he got 20,000 subscribers so quite some time ago some years ago and he didn't really change a lot but he changed in quite some manner <laughs> and what I love about his videos is that he quite kind nah, that I'm forgetting my English that he kind of stays the same he makes some sketches he always made some sketches and I ah, know you in the US don't call it sketches you call it uh, awesome Rusty Rex told me uh, you call it skits <laughs> skits sorry sketches is how we call it in Germany uh, he makes some skits and that's what I love and that's what I what I love to see all the time. But I think that his channel might mainly be for furries who are younger age, who are I don't know below 18. And that's maybe the point why when furries grow older, they don't watch him anymore. That's what I feel. I'm almost 26 years old, and I feel like his content is not for my kind of age but mainly for people who are, I don't know, 10 years younger than me. I don't know whether you can confirm that or whether you say, no, I'm, I don't know, 30 years old and I'm gonna watch Majira again or I'm watching, it all, I'm watching him all the time. I don't know, you can tell me down below. Um, same here with Nasahina. Nasahina's channel grew in 2000, I don't know, 2017 was it, I think. 
his channel grew out of nowhere to the top of the stars. Oh my god, I touched my lamp. Sorry, lamp. <laughs> uh, to the stars. And his channel grew to, I don't know, a lot of subscribers. And he made a lot of skits. He m talked about specific topics, also some very critical topics sometimes. And that's what I love. That's what a lot of people love. And uh, now his channel is more like he's talking about whatever he wants. For example, his uh, Spider-Man thing. You can like it, you can't. It depends on you, yourself, whether you like his Spider-Man thing or whether you don't. That's, I think, Nasayina is also, he doesn't, I wouldn't say he doesn't care, but he just wants to do whatever he wants. And that's a good point because as a YouTuber you need to look what you like and not just what your audience likes. But also he made, he, he's making some songs and I don't know, um, I'm not looking forward to ev see every video he makes, but when he uploads a video, I'm like, okay, maybe I should watch it. Would be really cool, and often it is really cool, so, well, that's why I watch him. Another furtuber, and that's maybe one you don't have on your list, is Crash Azarel. Mainly because he's talking in Portuguese. He's not from Portugal, he's from Brazil, but in Brazil they talk a specific kind of Portuguese, the Brazilian Portuguese and not the Portugal Portuguese. <laughs> I don't know whether you understand that, but he has been an inspiration to me why, I'm, why I also learned or started learning some Portuguese and well he, I think he would be more successful if he made his skit videos with um, not just subtitles but if he, I don't know, he should or could make more subscribers if he just talked in English, but he doesn't. And I think that's a good point because I am I have the same thing on my drummer channel. I could also talk just in English, maybe better English than just now because I don't know what's going on with my English today. And he could do that and he could have more subscribers, but he doesn't. And I think that's valuable because he's making his videos mainly for his Portuguese subscribers or Brazilian subscribers and that's really cool and for me it was an inspiration to watch him and see hey I understand quite something in this video and just because I got Portuguese for half a year or learned it for about half a year and well that helped me a lot well there are two more channels I think it's two I made a little list down there <laughs> two more channels I want to talk about the first one is Adler the Eagle and fun fact the word Adler is, and I'm going to talk about it in another video, the uh, word Adler is the German word for eagle. So it's like, if you hear it, it's like eagle, the eagle. And that's like, okay. But as far as I've seen, a lot of American people like German language and German words and the word Adler, normally you pronounce it Adler and not Adler, but that's the American kind of way to pronounce the German word. and. I think what I like about him most is his animations. His animations are super awesome, really, they are super awesome. And well, when I watch them, they are like, they are really entertaining. He, he knows how to play with his voice. And that's something a lot of people need to learn. Because having an entertaining voice is something a lot of people need, need to learn. And when I started my drama channel, people told me, oh, your voice sounds so boring, so, I don't know like nothing and I needed to improve that to get higher to get lower to get faster to get slower that's like a rhyme oh my god and he he knows how to do that also he has his fursuit and his fursuit is super adorable really it's super adorable and when he makes his videos with his fursuit he's like oh my god he's so cute I don't know whether you also think like that but he's super cute and the last channel I want to talk about. I hope I didn't forget anyone. Let me, let me check the list. No, I didn't. I did not forget anyone. The last one is Chip Flake. Well, Chip Flake... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Chip Flake also lives in Germany. But she's making English videos. Not about furry topics, but as I told in my video about the most famous furry YouTubers 2018, she makes videos with non furry content but in a furry way because her animations are really furry so to say 
and that's really awesome because she doesn't just refer to very specific topics she, her channel is kind of different and maybe this difference is what people likes people like English is a hard language if you're not a native speaker <laughs> oh my god and well I simply love her content I think she doesn't upload as often as she could or I don't know regarding her time I don't know how much time she has but I wish she uploaded I wish she uploaded more and more and more but well that's I don't know I still don't know really how to I really I forget my English you can hear it I, I don't I'm not able to speak English anymore I wish she uploaded more and more and more but she doesn't <laughs> Oh my god, what am I talking about? Okay, let me finish this video, let this video come to an end, because as you can hear my English, it, it is not working today, and I don't know why. And, okay, calm down, Akaba. So, I'm looking forward to your opinion. You can go to the comments and leave a comment about your favorite fur youtubers or fur tubers why you like them why you watch them maybe also the fur youtubers you don't watch and why you don't watch them for example there are a lot of fur tubers i don't watch because they are not they're not interesting for me and therefore i'm looking forward to your opinion write it down below give this video a like button not a like button but a like that would be so awesome subscribe to my channel that would be even more awesome I hope you're having a nice rest of a day, week, or whenever you're watching this video. Stay possum and fluff, you guys. Bye-bye.